Welcome back to Let's Play A Train 9 with our Old Town Restoration. At the end of the last episode, we were getting ready to uh, lay tracks to uh, connect uh, our station here uh, through the town. I actually had it lined up pretty good. Last I remember. Let's see if I can get that again. I'm trying to remember exactly how I had done it. Because I do kind of want to link it up with the station right here. That'll work. And we'll just add a new train to the mix here now that we've got it completed. And this will be the one for completing the route. And platform. How long are the platforms here? Six platform length. Okay. So we'll just go with a. Uh, Yeah, we'll go with a, a, just a easy six car uh, AR3. And we're going to be using uh, just timetable assistant here to uh, program it. This is looking like it'll uh, work out to be a good route for us. I wish I had uh, had gone with the second platforms with those elevated stations. So I'll just say I can add that in later, but um, this would have been uh, nice. Okay, so that was uh, pretty easy for us. Already showing uh, good... good uh, transport numbers there so it'll probably be a nice profitable route big thing though is we are uh, a little deficient in the uh, construction materials front here and so we can also add a new ground level station maybe not let's see if we can find the space here That'll get us a, so a little bit of extra growth and uh, increase our passenger numbers a little bit, but nothing too substantial. I think next on our agenda is to get some more uh, construction materials um, around the city, particular in this sort of vicinity. And I think I'm going to do it much the same as how I ran uh, our short essential route and we're just gonna make a nice simple route here we'll drop in some classification yards nothing particularly extravagant
And this is getting us uh, nice and close to the, the large station there in the old town. Not going to... Um, be easily able to get around this congestion here. I'm trying to avoid knocking out all these roads, but it might be a bit of a necessity. You know what, I'm going to hold off doing a, a large amount on this route. I'll just do something like this. go with some uh, pretty big ones here. Um, let's just go with the 8 car. And then, uh, yeah, the 8 car classification yards. There we go. We'll start uh, placing our large material factories. One near each yard. And we'll do a warehouse. For each yard, closer to the interior of the city. So this will get things moving here and ensure a good a bit of growth with all those new stations, at least on that side of the city. Over time, we'll, uh, we'll rework this area a bit here. Now our next challenge is we have to rework our suburban city here. It's not, uh, not doing so good for us right now. It's got a couple stops, but uh, we're losing a fair bit of money off of our factory here. I guess what we could do here to improve that uh, factory situation is we'll rework our truck network here. We'll add in a loading bay.
So I think we get some more, uh, actually can lay more vehicles in this uh, map. Should be nice. Alright, so we're seeing uh, seeing those materials get uh, eaten up here. We might be able to turn this uh, factory around a little bit. And we're going to need to change the layout of this town as well. It's not 100% sure the best way to do it. One thing we could do here... We could bring our freight line around. We're going to want to do that anyways. Yeah, I kind of got an idea here of what I want to do. So, I'm going to bring the freight line around. knock out some of these roads. I'll leave that, actually I'm going to leave that line like this. And what I'm going to build here, it's not a direct ring around this city, but an underground and above ground rail setup. So we'll do something like this. Leave room for a station there. We'll drop to a reduced elevation. Make sure we uh, pass that uh, freight rail line before uh, start making our way up again. Okay, so we're gonna have to rework uh, rework that line a touch. Yeah, that wasn't a big drawback. keep uh, knocking out some roads here. It's, it would just be too uh, cost prohibitive to start uh, 
uh, to start building elevated rails for this town. And I'd rather go with medium sized or even potentially large sized stations rather than um, uh, small elevated rail ones. We've got a, a lot of growth we want to do here. So we want those larger stations. Right here will be a perfect spot to build a connecting station. Between the two lines. Actually, it'll be three lines. So we're going to, so I'm going to actually work that in right now. With a uh, whopping three platforms. Apparently they're not close enough together. So I'll have to rework that a bit. But uh, for now though. Uh, I'm going to end this episode here, and uh, we'll take up uh, construction of the, the suburban uh, the suburban lines, underground, above ground rail, in the uh, next episode. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode and uh, the development of the city. Thank you very much for watching.